Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today we're in the delightful village of Ablington, six miles from the much more famous Bybury. Ablington sits in the Colne Valley with the River Colne flowing through it on its journey to meet the River Thames. It's a peaceful little village with no shops, pub or even a church. And at its centre is the Tudor Manor House, dating back to 1590. Come with me as we explore this classic Cotswold village of Ablington. And we start by heading down this lane to the bridge and the gates of the manor house. So we are just coming up to the gates to Abington Manor. Not much to see. Um, in fact, most of this manor house is hidden behind large walls and locked gates. I am gonna get a view of it from across the road um, and show you as much as I can. But yeah, it's a secluded, um, quiet place, but yeah, apparently it has some fantastic gardens and I'll talk more about the manor in a moment. But here we come to um, the River Colne. Um, the Colne meanders through Gloucestershire and it rises to the north of Brockhampton, a village to the east of Cheltenham. It flows in a south south direction through the Cotswold Hills via Andoversford, Withington, Fossbridge, Bybury, Colne St Aldwins, Quillington and Fairford. It's a peaceful, quiet, slow meandering river very tranquil and yeah absolutely delightful on a sunny day like today Well, Applington, like so many of these Cotswold villages around here, is absolutely full of quintessential classic Cotswold cottages and stone houses. As we go along this lane, you'll see plenty of these types of properties, just like the one on the right. So let's have a stroll along this lane and just admire these beautiful houses on this quiet little back lane.
Well, this is sort of the centre of the village, if there is such a thing. Um, over there is the bridge that we started, and across here is a group of houses and a sort of little village green. And, um, yeah, it's, like I said before, it's just full of absolutely gorgeous cottages. I mean, look at this one here, beautiful. On a lovely summer's day like today, the gardens are in full bloom. We're just going to come up in a minute and look at the... Um, Manor House, it's just a bit further along this road. Um, and when we get there, I'll tell you a bit more about it and we'll try and get a decent view. But it's not easy because, as you can see from this wall on the right, it's very high, very secluded and, uh, yeah, very private. So let's have a look. So this is the Manor House. It was once described by Country Life magazine as almost untouched by the passing of time. After Henry VIII's dissolution of the monasteries, Abington Manor flourished as the country seat of wealthy businessman John Coxwell, who made his fortune on Cotswold Wall. Most of the extensive residence was built around 1590, although succeeding centuries have seen incremental changes to the Grade 1 listed home. It's a stunning building with ornate gardens full of immaculately kept lawns, sunken lawn gardens, a Cotswold stone pavilion, and a number of bridges that crisscross the Colm as it flows through the extensive manor grounds. Absolutely superb property. I think it is open to the public by request in the summer. So worth Googling it and having a look if you can. I thought this was very sweet. It looks like a bus stop or something. When you go inside, there's um, it's like a little library. You can help yourself to a book. There's village notices, a paper, a copy of the good old Daily Mail there, and some other sort of free magazines and some eggs you can buy. And there's no shop, so it's um, a nice little uh, place to go and uh, pick stuff up.
Now, I stopped and looked through these trees, and you can see the gardens of a house that we saw the front of. And I just thought that was amazing. There's um, a nice little view of, of that property. There's so many lovely buildings here. I just can't really film them all, but they're all absolutely fantastic. Well, sadly, that's the end of the video. We're coming back to um, the centre of the village of Ablington and we're going to head towards the bridge which is just up here so I hope you've enjoyed your walk around Ablington it's only a hamlet it's tiny it's a 10 minute 15 minute walk and you've seen it but it is absolutely beautiful I recommend you come along here the river flowing through the houses it's so lovely so thanks for watching like share subscribe it's free comment if you'd like to and yeah i'll see you for another video from a lovely cotswold village very soon thanks again for watching and bye for now bye bye